Hi everyone, welcome back. Hi Lee. Hey David. How are you doing today? I am doing excellent because I've made knitting progress. Excellent, so have I, which is fantastic, which is what I like to hear. Um, do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? I mean, I have one thing, so I'll show it. Okay, sounds good. I'm working on a log cabin blanket. Ooh. I started with the black. And then I picked up stitches to add the pink. And then I picked up stitches to add this pink gray. Picked up the edge to add this one. And now I'm on this sort of darker gray. Very nice. So half log cabin blanket. And it is from Pearl Soho. So it's a free pattern. Excellent. And I to eat up all the yarn that I bought with no intention. Well, intention, but no real plan of using. And now it's becoming a blanket. Excellent. Yeah, I... I've actually never done like a log cabin. Um... It's wonderful because it, you can just use all the yarn up because all you need is enough yarn for the bind off. So you can use up to the last like six inches of yarn and you don't really need to know how much you have in the skein. That's good. That's good to know. I'll have to it's look. Cr- yeah, I'll, I'll have to look into it so I can actually uh, do it one day. Do it a soon day. A soon day. Maybe that'll be one of my next projects. Um, now, wh- we were talking a little bit before. This is going to be, what, your largest project that you've done? It will be my largest project. So I had uh, six skeins from one sweater kit that is turning into this blanket, and then seven skeins for another. So it will be 13 skeins total, which is the biggest skein project I've ever done. That's awesome, though. I'm excited about it. I've gotten jealous of all your blanket progress, and I thought, why not? I'm glad we can motivate each other into doing projects and bigger projects. It's the goal, always. Yeah, which is great. So, I mean, I I have been working also on blankets, but nothing as big. So, um, like I've mentioned before, I've been working on... Um, the blankets for my soon to be nephews and nieces. So I have two done, which I'm glad I'm over halfway done with them. So like I'm out actually as soon as we're done, I'm going to bind this off so that way I can finish. So I can finish blanket number three and I hang about halfway done with uh, blanket number four. So I've been, that was my trip blanket. I just came back from vacation. So, um, and I kind of ran out of yarn Oh no! But I have the rest of the yarn here at the house, so I can just um, finish it up probably the next week. That's a good question for vacations, though. How much yarn do you need to pack to survive a vacation? <laughs> uh, I think it depends. Um, I like. I already started. The, to be fair, I already s- started the blanket when I la- last went down to New Jersey. So okay. I only brought like an extra skein i probably should have brought a second one but i didn't think i was going to be doing that much knitting so shame on me shame on me that's not the david that i know i know um but probably at least from now on probably at least two skeins if not more um because i was good i was gone for a good like eight to ten days so more yarn I'm genuinely surprised because I thought you'd go through a skein a day just like breathing and walking and living. Well, I think it was a little bit different because we were like, we were doing a lot of stuff. We were being very active, so it wasn't necessarily um, doing a lot. And I was, for instance, when we were driving places, I was doing a lot of the driving um, since Jason was filming a lot of stuff for our future podcast that we're starting. So I more tell yeah like so me and jason are going to be starting a podcast a travel podcast of just going places seeing things so we went up to alaska and we stayed uh three four days in alaska and on our way back we stayed like an extra day in seattle so we're gonna start posting that soon so i'll also put put a link into the description below about all that so yeah um I, I think I underestimated it. I was like, oh, we're going to be very busy doing stuff, recording, and kind of all that. So um, we I, we definitely had more downtime than I thought. So just always... I really... just 
limit your like zen tips to planning vacations because this is what number of trip you've done this year um this is at least my second or third and i have another one planned in like two weeks so but that's gonna be like a, a short one that's only gonna be like three days um but we're actually going up to the two up to seattle for our tulip festival that is incredible yeah so it's gonna be a lot of fun but i promise i will bring more knitting for that one um and if not everyone can yell at me for being such a bad packer of knitting so i mean you don't need clothes one shirt one pair of underwear one pair of slacks 10 skin i i think that was it like i i packed too much clothing and not enough yarn um luckily when i go this next time i will have more room for yarn so i will make sure i have enough don't worry <laughs> You will need a mini podcast on how you pack efficiently with yarn. Yeah, I, I think I'll I'll do that soon if everyone if everyone wants me to. I'll kind of do a little bit packing because this is also one of the first times I've, I've actually packed like a blanket, uh, like in terms of like what I'm working on and ter in terms of projects. Um, usually, when I'm working on something, it's usually like it's usually like scarves or hats or something small like that, so it's easier to pack. Um, once I got, like, more, once I got, like, two, two and a half feet of blanket, it was interesting, kind of, like, how do I fit it in my, in my, in my carry-on, in my, like, I, I have a saddlebag that I put it in, so, um, I can, I can go into travel knitting maybe a little bit more, so. Yeah, did you consider wrapping it around your neck and making it a scarf so you could just wear it on the plane? <laughs> Um, I did not, but I did get a, like, I did get, get a lot of comments of like, oh, I like your knitting and stuff like that. That's a good color. So that was kind of cool. Um, I was actually happily surprised. No one gave me a sideward look about it because being a guy knitting, I guess it's more common, but, um, and yes, guys, you can get needles through TSA. Um, keep in mind, I use bamboo and I've never had a problem for bamboo needles. I don't know about metal, but I have a good feeling one day I should actually try it to like go through TSA. I only took a trip with metal needles and I was fine. Yeah, so it's you can get knitting needles through TSA with no problem. And I've done a lot of travel with bamboo and I've never been stopped for the needles. Um, so. Always... so you... Say again? Little scissors, you have to be careful. Yeah. Um, Yes, depending on what bag, sometimes I have little scissors, and I don't think they've ever been, like, a big, big problem, but just be something to be mindful about. Um, yeah. Yeah, but needles are fine. So. But until next time, I think we will end it here and talk more about travel and knitting next time. I will see you later. Bye. Bye.